Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I am starting revision for CSSC exams and uh, that's the only one topic is very important yeah and which is called equation yeah we are not discuss about the concept of equation or solving equation but we are going to revise its application on missing angles area parameters function machine sequences substitution so simultaneous equation so there is a single topic is called equation but it's application on different topics okay which you already learned you know, like for example you you find the missing angle very simple way yeah, area of the triangle but with the concept of the equation i'm going to discuss here okay which is very important for this year so back to the topic so i would say that i'm going to discuss equation yeah and its application on missing angle area and parameter number three i'm going to discuss about function machine number four is sequences number five is substitution number six is simultaneous equation yeah so these are the six topics i'm going to cover okay so it's application on these topics i believe you know about the how to find the missing angle area parameters substitution function machine sequences you threw out learning since you know last year but now we're discussing about its application so how how we can find out missing angles okay with the concepts of equation how to find the function machine answer with the help of equation also for sequences area and parameter okay so it means you need to understand the concept of equation so i'm going to start the basics of equations we're going to solve a couple of complex questions and then i'm going to start with how to find the missing angle with the concept of equation so first of all uh, i'm going to discuss about the equation so so let me write down a couple of questions you may pause the video okay and check the answer later on so just let me write down the question it says 2m plus 8 equal to 15 yeah this is the first question and the second question i will say 5x plus 11 equal to 19 and question number three i can select here 4x plus 11 equal to 3 so these are the equation concept you already know how to solve it okay so you can pause the video and come back later on okay so very simple how we solve this equation 2m plus 8 equal to 15 so it means 2m plus 58 equal to 15 so how we uh, cancel this plus 8 subtract minus 8 both side so it means 2m equal to 15 take away 8 is going to be what 7 divide to both side this one so it means so the m will be what 2 time 3 is 6 and the remainder is 1 so you found the value of m so this is the question number 1 and the question number 2 okay 5x plus 11 
equal to 19 5x plus 11 equal to 19 yeah so very simple subtract minus 11 and the, if you're doing on the left hand side so you must do the right hand side as well okay so plus minus cancel so answer 5x equal to 19 take away 11 so you will get what 8 yeah and both sides divide by 5 yeah so the answer is what 5 times 1 is 5 times 1 is 5 and the remainder is 3 so this is the value of x you found 1 3 fifth yeah and the question number 3 yeah so how are we going to solve minus 11 so you go to minus 11 here as well plus minus cancel so 4x equal to 11 take away 3 is what 8 yeah so is a minus 8 divide both sides 4 so look at this one 4 cancel with this 4 times 1 4 times 2 so it means x equal to minus 2 so these are the basic question about equation so now we're going forward to the letter on both sides yeah so this is this is the basic concept of the equation you can find easily okay so value of x very simple very easy okay so but you need to uh keep in mind one thing okay so first you need to eliminate this one plus eight okay so if you're doing on the left hand side so minus a so you need to do the right hand side as well okay so cancel by adding or subtracting and after canceling this one okay so check this one okay this one is time so we can cancel by dividing both sides that's why you get the answer m equal to three one over two yeah so this is the concept behind but you need to understand how to cancel this one so plus going to be cancelled by minus okay and times cancel by divide yeah so so now i'm going to move forward okay so the question letter on the both sides so this is the equation that the value is given only you know only numbers giving on the other side yeah only numbers giving now i'm going to discuss about uh, you know the letter on both sides so letters So letters on both sides yeah the so letter on both side means So the letter on both sides means I'm gonna write here. So it says 4x, 4x plus 1 equal to 2x plus 7. This is very important, yeah. Okay. So this is the question number one. Okay. And question number two is 5x plus 4 equal to 3x plus 16 yeah so first we're going to solve these two questions very simple very easy if you find uh you know letter both sides so you know that okay lower value move to the higher side so this one it means this 2x moving this side so how we solve this one so this is no sign mean this is plus so i'm going to cancel this is minus 2x if I'm doing minus 2x here, so I'm going to do minus 2x here as well. So look at this one, 4x take away 2x. So you will get 2x plus 1. And this one cancel and you will get what 7. And now, same as the previous equation, okay. So you cancel minus 1, okay, minus 1, okay. And this one is going to be cancel. So it means 2x equal to 6. And the answer is x equal to 3 very simple very easy yeah and the second question same exactly we need to 
cancel this 3x by subtracting the minus 3x. If I'm doing right hand side, so I need to do left hand side as well. So 5 take away 3 is 2x. Okay, plus 4 equal to 16. And same as 2x plus 4 minus 4 equal to 16 minus 4. And this one cancel. So it means 2x equal to 16 take away. 16 take away 4 equal to 12. And you need to divide both sides by 2. And x equal to 6. Yeah. So you can find easily the value of x here. Yeah? If you find the letter on both sides, yeah. So this is very simple, very easy, okay. And so this is the concept of equation or equation on the basis of the letter on both sides, yeah. And now I'm going to discuss how we can apply this concept on missing angles, yeah. And if you look at this one 2021 paper, okay, uh, 2021 paper and question number 17, yeah. So, so how we solve, okay, they are giving about uh, how you find the area or parameter, yeah, for the triangle. So, uh, look at this one. This question, I'm going to solve it for you. So, Okay, one more example for equation, uh, letter on both sides, so this is number 3, I would say that 5x plus 3 equal to 3x plus 9, so how we solve this question, very simple, there is a bracket, so it means you need to times by 5 this bracket, so I'm going to do 5 times x, yeah, 5x, plus 5 times 3 is 15, equal to 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 9 is 27. Okay, so same as, okay, this 5x, 3x moving towards 5x, so how I'm going to cancel this 3x, is a minus 3x, so same, I'm doing on the left hand side, so this one is cancel, so 2x, plus 15 equal to 27 now we're going to cancel this 15 minus 15 yeah okay so 15 cancel with this 15 okay so 2x so 27 take away 15 is 2 1 is 12 yeah and 2x divide by 2 both sides so the answer will be 6 so the x equal to 6 look at this one this is the different okay the previous one okay they normally give you the question for this condition okay so letter on both side okay but they normally give you like for example 5x plus 15 equal to 3x plus 27 so the question is start from this stage yeah and this one they give you the brackets so very simple you need to times with this bracket any number okay whichever is given yeah so one more example i'm gonna uh, discuss about same as the bracket one so 8x minus 1 equal to 4x plus 3 so you can pause the video and you can try solve try to solve and uh, check your answer later on so 8 times x is 8x 8 times 1 is 8, 4 times x is 4x, 4 times 3 is 12, same as the 4x, okay, you need to move on the left hand side, minus 4x, minus 4x, so it means this 4x cancel with 4x, so 8 take away 4 is 4x, minus 8 equal to 12. This is 
minus 8. So we can cancel by adding plus 8. So you can add on the right hand side minus 8 cancel minus 8. So 4x equal to 20. And we need to divide by 4 both sides. So 4 cancel with this 4. And 4 times 5 is 20. So the x equal to 5. Very simple, very easy. Yeah. So let's on both sides. We discuss about two types of the questions. One without brackets and the second with brackets. Okay. And I'm going to explain you when we are going to apply in a different topics, you know. So how, how this one are important, yeah? So now, the first I'm going to discuss about the missing angles. You know the missing angles? How the concept of equation, how to apply equation concept on missing angles. And this question has been uh, assessed in 2022, yeah? So there was a triangle given, okay? So the triangle is given, and their value, I would say, that's 2x. This is, I would say, 3x. And this one is 4x. So examiner asked, find the value of x. So concept of equation okay so triangle we know that sum of the triangle equal to sum of triangle equal to 180 degree yeah so it means we're going to sum for these three angles okay don't be confused about x or x yeah x or number so i'm going to write 2x plus 3x plus 4x equal to 180 and 2x 3x 4x so it means it's going to be 9x and we need to divide by 9 both sides so look at this one 9 times 2 is 18 so the x value is 20 very simple very easy yeah so if Examiner asks, find the value of x, and they give you the interior angles, okay, which is 2x, 3x, and 4x. You simply add with the concept of equation, yeah? So, look at this one, 9x equal to 180, and divide by 9 both sides to get the value of x. So, I'm going to take one more example, okay, for the missing angle, okay? So, for example, this is... triangle yeah okay and its value is this one value is 100 yeah this one value is 40 degree and this one is 2x yeah and examiner asking find the value of x so exactly the same way you need to do it okay so 40 plus 100 plus 2x equal to because sum of triangle equal to 180 degree yeah so 140 is going to be 140 yeah so 140 plus 2x equal to 180 degree yeah so I'm gonna write here, okay? So 140 plus 2x equal to 180. And look at this one, okay? So this is 140. I can rewrite like same 2x plus 140 equal to 180. It's the same thing, yeah? Because there's a positive sign, yeah? So I'm gonna cancel. Subtract minus 40, both sides. So look at this one, 2x equal to 140, cancel 140. 180, take away 140, equal to 40. 
divide by 2. So the answer will be 2 times 2 is 4. So the answer will be x equal to 20. Very simple, very easy. Yeah. So we are applying the concept of equation how to find the angle, okay, which is equal to 20. Yeah. So if I'm going to say that x equal to 20, so this angle will be what? 2 times 20, which is equal to 40 degree. Yeah. And now one more question, yeah. So the one more question, I'm going to say this angle, this one is like And it says 2, this one is 2 minus 3x. Yeah, this angle is 2 minus 3x. This one is giving 36 degree. And this one is giving 46 degree. Yeah. So, how would you solve this one? So, you need to add. 36 plus 46 plus 2 minus 3x equal to 180 degree. Yeah? So I can re rewrite for this one. I can write here, uh, for example, 2 minus 3x. plus 36 plus 46 equal to 180 yeah open this bracket so look at this one 2 minus 3x plus 36 plus 46 equal to 180 so look at this one 3 6 4 6 and 2 you're going to add this one 6 6 is 12 12 plus 2 is 14 okay 3, 4 is 7, 7 plus 8, so this is 84. So your answer will be what? To sum minus 3x plus 84 plus 84 equal to 180, yeah? So minus 3x equal to minus 84 and minus 84, yeah? So it means this 84 cancel with this 84 and it will be what? 96, yeah? So divide by 3, minus 3, both sides, yeah? So what happened? This minus cancel with this minus, yeah? 3 cancel with this 3, yeah? 3 times 3 is 9 and 3 times 2 is? 6 yeah so the x equal to minus 32 yeah so this example yeah okay so this is i would say right angle triangle okay so right angle triangle and this is i would say 45 degree and this one is this angle it says 8x plus 21 degree. Yeah, okay. How you solve this question? Very simple, very easy. Is a right angle triangle, so it means this is 90 degree. Yeah. So you're going to add 90 plus 90 plus 45 plus 8x plus 21 equal to 180 degree yeah sum of triangle 180 degree yeah so so you're going to add 90 45 and 21 so it's going to be 6 and 4 to 6 6 plus 9 is 15 
So, 8x plus 156 equal to 180 degree. Yeah. So, we're going to cancel this minus 556, 156 by subtracting both sides. So, 8x equal to 180 take away 156 equal to 24 so divide by 8 both side so the answer is x equal to 3 so so x equal to 3 so we can substitute this 3 here to see what the size of this angle so 8 times 3 is 8 times 3 is 24 yeah so 24 plus 21 which is equal to 45 degree okay so this is the concept of equation okay how to find the missing angle okay so or value of x